What's up guys, it's Brain TCT and welcome back to another Rise of Civilizations video. And in today's video we are going to be talking about siege units. Now siege units are the units that you mainly use for gathering um, and can hold the most for gathering. Before we get into this video I want to say please subscribe because I make daily Rise of Civilizations videos here. And uh, who doesn't want daily tips on Rise of Civilizations so please subscribe and also that really help out me and my channel. So thank you for everyone that um, is subscribed because I really appreciate it and I've been growing really fast so um, thank you for all the support to everyone that watches my videos regularly because that's really awesome. And enough talking about me, let's just get into the siege units video. So siege units are the units that you train in here. They have um, the worst speed out of all the other units. I made videos on all the other units. You guys can check those out, um, infantry, cavalry, and archers. Um, I don't know if they're out yet, but I definitely made videos on them. So um, if you guys, uh, if they're not out yet, then please um, hit the notification because that means that you get those videos as soon as they come out. And um, if they are already out, then you guys can watch that as soon as this video ends. So with siege units, they're, um, these units over here that you train. So um, I, if they have they're good against watchtowers so that means that they're good against attacking cities but they also have the most troop load for um collecting resources and um not a lot of people know this but they have increased defense and they're really good against watchtowers as it shows over here but they are conquered by every other unit this is not this is why they're not the best to use when you're attacking an opponent on the battlefield but if you're going to attack a city then definitely go for um uh, siege units because they are really good against watchtowers and attacking cities successfully. So, um, but they're not really too much use because in expeditions, Ark of Osiris, almost every single situation except for attacking cities, they're not very useful. Um, but they are useful for gathering resources. And as you can see, when I go to gather resources, um, uh, let's go to which is a uh, open resource. Um, Okay, there's one. Okay, so let's go gather this one and it'll automatically choose the siege units because they have the most troop load. Um, and I'll show you guys over here. So their troop load is 26 per um, per load and if I go to cavalry, their troop load is only 10. These ones are only 11 and these ones are only 13. So they have a lot more troop load, almost double. So if you guys are going to gather resources, then I suggest using siege units. And um, they're obviously the slowest because if you want to go attack a barbarian, let's see. Um, so um, cavalry is the fastest. They'll get there in 37 seconds. And long swordsmen's in 44 seconds. And, and uh, crossbowmen in 41 seconds. And then if I want to use siege units, they get there in 48 seconds. So they're obviously the slowest by a lot. But this is why you want, don't want to use them in open fields and more for attacking cities. Um, and I wouldn't suggest using cavalry while attacking cities because cavalry costs a lot. And they're pretty expensive. So, um, and they took, take a while to train. So don't use siege units when you're attacking cities. I can go more, I can talk more about that in another video if I want to. But, um... I also um, like to train um, a tier 1 because they don't cost that much and also they don't take that long and they only the okay wait so I'm gonna show you they cost a lot more I'm gonna show you the different prices I'm just gonna speed this up so I can show you uh, let's do this really quick um, this is 10 hours let's go to this and then a voice crack um and then let's just finish this up. Okay, so it takes th um, 300,000 of almost every single one, and then this is only 150,000. Okay, so look, so it only has a troop load of 26, and then the tier 1 um, units only have a troop load of 20. So they're not that much a difference, except, look, the, it only costs 90,000 um, food and 90,000... Um, uh, wood. I don't know why I couldn't think of wood. <laughs> and then it costs a lot more just for a little bit better load. So when you're gathering resources, 
this is a way cheaper option and eventually you're going to upgrade these um because the more because these are better against attacking cities but these these are a lot cheaper for gathering resources and all it, all gathering resources is is just the load and it doesn't matter anything else so this is the best choice i would say and so i think that's it for this video there's not much else to talk about siege units there's no siege unit only commanders thankfully that would be kind of weird <laughs> because you have the cavalry and you have archers and infantry but wait here's an infantry commander but there is no siege unit commander so that'd be kind of weird but yeah there is none so if you guys enjoyed this video then please leave a like and comment down what you guys thought about this video and i'll be making more dangerous civilizations videos and so make sure to subscribe for those and um thank you so much for everyone who made it to the end of this video i'll see you guys next time bye guys